Hi there, Sam Medina here from JakeTheEvilHair.com and Darkfell.com. Now today, we're going to be doing some stuff for Darkfell Return to Moonshadow, and we're going to talk a little bit about drawing trees. Now, I already have a tree in here in non-photo blue, but you can't really see that on camera. So, uh, well, it's not really finished, it's barely roughed in, but we're going to show a little of how I construct tree trunks. Uh, usually what I do is I, I tend to use very broad uh, strokes. This tree is organic and a lot of times I find a more broad, uh, just a, a large movement gives me a better, a better line. Uh, so I'll do things like this and now it's not showing the camera. The camera just went out of focus somehow. There we go. Alright. But I'll use some very wide strokes. Sometimes I'll even go from the shoulder and I'm just like, you know, all over the place. And then for representing bark, actually let's give ourselves a branch over here. And another branch over here, small branch. And so we kind of got to have a roughed in, right? For the bark, what I like to do is I, I, I tend to do a lot of just, I, I kind of scribble a little bit. The texture of bark is, is kind of organic. Well, it is organic. And uh, so you want to give yourself almost, ran, not quite random lines, but you give yourself, you play around a bit. And then you start picking some of those lines. Like I'm going to pick this line over here. And start indicating where the roots start coming out of the tree toward the ground. And like that. And maybe this will be kind of a hollow in the tree toward the root area. And I'll pick some of these lines. Let's see. Seems like a good reasonable line there. I think this tree's got a big crack in it. Some animals living in there. Some artists like to indicate a whole lot of line work for for bark, uh, and some guys do it to great effect. And they do some beautiful work, but I prefer not to. I do, I do it sometimes, but usually I don't. And we're gonna see why here. There we go. Start bringing the Murado Black Warrior. That other pencil was a Mars uh, Lumograph from Stettler. 2H. This is a 2HB. But it's actually a little softer than your, your standard 2HB pencil. It gives a very, very smooth line. Alright, so we've got our contours in. And even at this stage, you start selecting. Uh, which lines you really want in there, especially if you work in black and white like I do. Every line's got to count, every line's got to have a job, and you don't want it, things to be too busy uh, because then the eye doesn't really have a place to rest, so to speak, and then it, the image can actually be kind of hard to look at. Unless, of course, you're Bernie Wrightson, and then you could have lines everywhere and it still looks spectacular. Uh, I'm not quite there yet. And let's come back to this line we made over here. You can make little changes and adjustments as you go along. Here's my little hollow over here. I'll fill in. And give another line over here, line over here. Indicate where I'm going to have some shadows because one branch is going to cast a shadow over here. And we might have some shadow here because light's coming from here, partially from the character here who's doing something very powerful and magical like. And, and there we go, we got ourselves a little tree. We can even throw in some more lines, which we'll do at the inking stage. But for now we've got we got some good contours going on. And we've got ourselves a tree. Thanks for watching. Hope this was helpful. And just check us out over at darkfell.com.
jaketheevilhair.com, and have a good one.